This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Saturday, May 8th, 2021. And today I want to talk about you need to pull your kids out of school. I don't know how everybody can do it as far as work, going to work, having their kids in school, bringing them home, who's going to teach them. But you got to pull your kids out of school. It's getting worse and worse. The New York Post. This was May 5th. This is just a couple of days ago. Dad who yanked child from woke Manhattan school says others are doing the same. A dad who yanked his daughter from her $43,000 per year Manhattan private school in outrage over the woke teaching of critical race theory says other angry parents are now following his example. As he described the movement as a form of child abuse. All right. Goldman said the Heschel, I don't know if I'm saying this right or not, the Heschel School on West End Avenue near 60th Street has taught inappropriate lessons centering on race and gender, which many parents have no clue about. Heschel was asking fourth graders if they were transgender and what would their pronoun be. Kids at a different school on the Upper East Side were also given a book called Jacob's New Dress. He, argue, he argues that kids that young aren't capable of understanding woke issues. This school, I, I don't understand how schools and teachers can get away with some of the stuff they do. It's like they're trying to be the new God. They're trying to fit in. They, they need to be arrested. Most of these teachers need to be arrested. My friend has a kindergartner, and her child came home and asked, Mommy, am I bad because I'm white? Adding that the child attended the Upper East Side School. To me, that's straight up child abuse, he says. It's like telling kids their, skunk, their skin color is bad. Last month, uh, he revealed to the Post that he had pulled his nine-year-old from the swanky school after finding out she was being taught about her own white privilege. It, it, it's just ridiculous. Now, when you read, I'll put a link in the description below for the, for this uh, news article. But at the end, the school denies any of it. And they're saying that there's none of that happened. They're not teaching that. And that he's a bold-faced liar. So I don't know what the truth is, but if that is the truth, if they are teaching that, we got to do something about that. Now, in my local paper, the Pine Barrens Tribune. Shit, did I bring the whole paper? Or did I leave that section out? I left that section out, didn't I? Hold on a second here. Now this, this, I was going to do a video earlier and I was starting to rant. I would have, I would have been arrested if I posted my earlier video. This is a Pinelands district uh, in Little Lake Harbor. I'm not going to say the name of the school or the teacher. But evidently it's... Uh, I'll put some of it up here. If I, if I can find this on the computer, I'll put a link in it too. But I'm not going to say it. Evidently... There were some some kids at the school eating lunch in a cafeteria, evidently, and they weren't wearing the mask. Somebody put a picture, took a picture of these kids, of these students, and put them on a specifically made Facebook page. Where is it here? It is. It's a Facebook page. That she said was designed to harass and intimidate and bully people. This was made by a teacher. A teacher took a picture of these kids and said, The site's self-described purpose is to post pictures and videos of mask holes. Adding time to stick together and stop these people from not wearing masks so we can beat COVID-19. Let's do this, someone said. Uh, this teacher took pictures of underage kids. Supposedly, the kids didn't know anything about it. They were eating. Uh, according to the surveillance cameras, 
The kids were eating. It was a teacher that took the picture and is harassing, calling these kids mask holes. And this teacher is doing it to a bunch of people. And uh, evidently the police got involved. They're, they're not doing anything. Now, it seems like they're, they're going back and forth. They're, they're taking it bullying part seriously. But as far as getting involved, uh, they, they said that they replied that the board was not in a position to pick and choose viewpoints and expressed in such a situation and that the attempt to do so might construct uh, might be construed as a violation of First Amendment rights. So you're a teacher and you can take pictures of kids because that wearing a mask, they're going to open things up and you're not going to be able to wear a mask or you won't have to be wearing a mask now. There's no proof, scientific proof that these masks help anyway. But you're a teacher and you're going to take pictures of students without them knowing it. And legally, it even says in here, the police say, and she went to the Ocean County department or whatever. If you take a picture of a minor, it has to be signed. They need consent for it to be published. Published. So the school's not going to do anything. She's bullying. She's calling these kids mask holes. And what do you think about that? Do you want to put your kids into the schools these days with the transgender bullshit, uh, the white and black bullshit that shouldn't even be brought up anymore. Calling people mask holes. I mean, these teachers should be arrested. It's, I'm trying to be nice here. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm glad that I didn't post what I did earlier because I would be arrested for terroristic threats. I'm glad my kids are older and not in school. I feel bad for my grandkids being in school. Uh, what do you think about these teachers and the school districts teaching this bullshit to kids about transgender in kindergarten? Uh, and wearing a mask, what good does it do? And if you're eating at the table anyway, these teachers should be suspended they should be brought to town hall, and everybody should tar and feather these people. If not, they should be stoned. I say, bring back the old medieval days. Let's take care of shit ourselves. Or am I just overreacting? To me, if my kid was in these schools, I'd be pulling them out. Ah, let me cut that out. So I had to cut that out. What do you think? As far as these kids and these school districts teaching this bullshit, this race, gender crap, this split, divide, it's all bullshit. I've never seen so much racial crap before in my life. I, 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 is any of this shit real or is it all on TV? I've never seen any racial stuff. A little bit here and there growing up. But, I mean, that's, you know, I'm white. I got beat up and picked on as a kid for what I wore. We didn't have a lot of money, you know, depending on my clothes or what I wore one day or depending on what side of the tracks you're on. You know, if you grew up over there, you grew up over here, you're allowed to hang out with certain people and their parents don't want you to come over and vice versa and got nothing to do with black white hispanic indian it doesn't matter it's how much money you got in your pocket what group you're in what click you're in it's and now they're just making it an issue they're teaching this racial stuff and you're bad if you're black you're if you're black you're, you're poor you're not going to be anything if you're white, you're a piece of crap for being white, and you, you should sue your parents because they're both white. It's, where the frick are we going? Where is this country going? It's already down the toilet. I mean, I think somebody's getting ready to flush it like a giant turd. We're just floating. It, 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 it's circling. There's a whirlpool in the toilet, and we're just all these 
dingleberries hanging on the water, getting ready to get sucked down the toilet. We're almost down the drain. Some days I think we've completely gone down the drain and ended up somewhere else, but I'm not going to get into that subject. This is Pony Prepper Bill. Where do you stand on these schools and these teachers? What should be done? What kind of consequences? Or is this the new normal and it is what it is? Am I just overreacting? This is Pony Prepper Bill. I apologize if I offended anybody. This is my opinion. And if you like what I'm saying and you believe what I'm saying, click the like button and subscribe button right there. Because I got a lot more coming. See that right? It should be like right here somewhere. Like and subscribe. <laughs> All right. Let me know. This is Pine Pepper Bill. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.